What's up friends? Kaylee here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Alone in the Dark. I'm really, really excited for this game. It just came out today and I've been anticipating it, really. I haven't played any of it. I didn't even play the prologue that's been out for a little bit. But from what I hear, the original Alone in the Dark was sort of like the predecessor of Resident Evil and I'm really excited for that, but I think with a little bit more like story narrative driven sort of murder mystery, you can hear the music right now. It sounds fucking awesome, like insane. It sounds so good. I am so ready. Oh my gosh. This is going to be fantastic. Let's get straight into it. Let's go. Uh, we're going to do standard. Let's do standard. Ooh, this is interesting. Modern and old school difficulty. Help. Yeah. Um, hmm. No, no, no. We, we need some hand-holding. We like some hints. We don't let it get stuck. Because, you know, getting stuck is not fun. <laughs> I have played enough of these games that I'm like, I'm not trying to get stuck. Let's not do that. How is everyone? How's everyone been? I feel like it's been a minute since I live-streamed. It really hasn't. It's been only like a week, but... This frog, though. Ooh, guys, I think we're in Louisiana, by the way. And it's... That's awesome. <laughs> Definitely Louisiana, Bayou. I believe it is, like, 1920s, like, film noir. I'm hoping for some really, like, atmospheric, spooky vibes. I think it's going to be awesome. Alone in the dark. The brand new Alone in the Dark. So, you're I'm here for it. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. Also, the fact that they got Jodie Comer for this. What do you make of it? I'm here. I love Jodie Comer. Course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Harwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Hmm. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being They're convinced that he is truly possessed, I he truly decided to put his last game, chips guys. on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Mm, so, like a mental institution, maybe. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to Dude, kill. I hope so. Could it be real? I hope so. Or is That'd it all just awesome. in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. I like the vibe so far. I will say the graphics, a uh, little something to be desired. It doesn't totally look like Jodie Comer. Not well, Mr. Comer. Plus, her facial expression is sure not quite right. there. But I and like what's the vibe. My part in this? What's up, Scarecrow? How you doing? Cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Hmm. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Choose character. Uh, her, obviously. Yeah. 
definitely Jodie Comer. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Yes. What the hell? Why does it have her name? That's a little weird. Why would you do that? Nothing much. Just chilling in Oakland, California. Chilling and having a fago. That's how you roll, Scarecrow. That's how you doing. What are you doing in Oakland? For what? Just hanging out? That's cool. A little weird, though, that they put, like, Jodie Comer's name under here. But, yes, we're definitely going with Jodie Comer because I love her. David Harbour, Edward Carnby. No, no, no. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Just hanging out. Just hanging out. There for fun, for pleasure, for business. Feel, how have you been? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a long time. Been really bad about being on YouTube, though. Been so fucking busy. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? This is a big place. I've been so Maybe tired. Maybe on the other side of the house. I don't know what's going on. Stay here. Literally, we'll I schedule live streams and then I'm just all of a sudden immediately, like, dying. <laughs> like, I need a nap. Like, I need to go to bed every single time, inevitably. But hopefully this, uh... Hopefully this wakes me up. Chapter one. Chapter one what? Just chapter one. Is it stuck? No. Okay, good. Ooh, I have a gun. Okay, so there is combat in this game. In theory. Look for a way inside the house. All right, all right. I've got a little notepad here for detective work. Great, great, great. I thought that I had saw something come up. My sister lives in Oakland. I just said your last name. Comer? Harbor? Which one? Which one? <laughs> Which one? Okay, we move a little bit faster. Okay, okay. I see you, game mechanics. I see you. All right. How am I going to get in this house, do we think? Is it a house? It seems like it's like a a mental institution. Ooh, I like the uh, the lighting so, it's so far. It's so dark in here. I can't see anything. Yeah. I need a light. Did I miss a did I miss a flashlight? Probs. Help a girl out, chat. I don't see anything here. I see this light, but I'm not carrying that light with me. I know that much. Hmm. Anything. Anything. Maybe I just need to... Maybe I just need to walk in the dark. It does say... I mean, the name of the game is Alone in the Dark. Oh, there we go. There we go. I totally missed this. <laughs> I was like, maybe I just need to be alone in the What's dark. <laughs> Harper? Oh, okay. Scarecrow Harper. Very distinguished. I don't think that's a clue, but yes, thank you. Garden key. Great. Great. Kitchen garden key. I'm trying to figure out the... Uh, The keys, because I've got this on my uh, controller. I'm still trying to figure it out. To switch your flashlight on and off. There we go. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it just is like on my. Oh, that's that's cute. That's a cute look. I like that. It doesn't have a battery, so that's good. Cause I hate. I hate horror game mechanics with batteries where I have to find batteries for the goddamn flashlight. I'm like, just give me a flashlight, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. This looks pretty light. We're outside. There we go. There's a creepy old... There's a creepy old person over there. Ew, why are we like slow? Did you guys see that? The camera like slowly panned in. I'm not about it. That's creepy AF. I was already creeped out by the, the old person over here. Why am I creeped out by old people? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of just like, um, 
what was the movie? The horror movie that was really good. X with Mia Goff. Where you're just supposed to be scared of sexual old people. Not normally afraid of sexual old people. No, but I don't think I'll be able to get in there. All right, all right. I'll go and find something. There's something about this one just... Is this a statue? Oh my god, it's not even a person! It's a statue! Guys. I'm out of it. I tell you. I just woke up from a nap. A power nap. I'm so out of it. It's a fucking statue! It's a Grecian statue! I thought this was an old person! I just went on and ranted about old people. <laughs> oh, I'm so trash. I'm such trash. Oh my god. Look at this thing. It's not even Greek. It's a Roman reproduction. I can tell. It's got a strut. It's got a strut to hold it up. Oh, God. What is... Hmm. What is that? I can't even tell. Need some rope or something. <laughs> Scarecrow. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? see here this is quite lovely i feel like actually like the graphics on the people are not great like look at jody comer poor poor jody comer does not look like that but i dig i dig the overall look i do i feel like i'm really gonna enjoy the story for this game i feel like this is uh totally my vibe which is great because i haven't played a game that is like totally my vibe in a hot minute oh shit oh 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 okay hold on we have to look around before we go running down them stairs is this is a key housekeeper's key that's good that should be helpful it's probably like a master key like a skeleton key right Hmm. Scarecrow, nothing. <laughs> Scarecrow, do you watch sports or anything? Are you into um, March Madness right now? I've been really into March Madness. Been watching lots of basketball. Okay. Oh. This is nice. This is nice. Let's go up here. Alright. Can't open that. Alright. Put it on the other side. Oh, alright. Here's a box, though. Bullets. Oh my god. What kind of monsters are gonna be in here, do you think? Can I go up these? Probably best. No, no, no. Oh, there's a chain. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Dude, what kind of monsters are in Alone in the Dark? I have no idea. I have no idea. But it's supposed to be, like I said, like Resident Evil-esque, which is very interesting. The Resident Evil before Resident Evil. Before Resident Evil, Resident evil Alone in the Dark walked so that they could run. Ooh, objectives. Find the front door and let Detective Carp be in. Great. All right, look at us. We're already making progress, guys. We're killing it. Okay, that door just closed by itself. That's fine. That's fine, game. I'll just take this. Oh, health? Okay, okay. We're gonna need health. Oh my god, I can't imagine what I have to fight in this game. Oh no, I have to fight as poor Jody Comer. We're gonna die. We're gonna die so much. Family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. Hmm. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, 
I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Ooh, voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Gree Gree. Hmm. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course. I do really the like the Louisiana the setting. I think that that's going to be really interesting. Connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you. Our Heavenly Father. Hmm. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. The Only sacrifices? the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Dude, I hope we Let get into some truth. cult stuff because that a would honestly Earth, make my life. <laughs> A mother of a thousand young. Look at this. Sacred sand, black Sacred cat oil. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Devil <laughs> shoe strings, a quarter. A quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madam. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. A goat without horns? Oh my gosh, intriguing. I'm intrigued, game. Oh my god, all of these bullets. When I have to fight people, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous for when I have to fight people. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We've played Resident Evil. We know, we know how these games work. I'm just right now, like, wondering what it's gonna, what is it gonna happen? What kind of monsters will they be? Are they gonna be, like, zombies, but in, like, the form of, like, you know, like, voodoo zombies? You know what I mean? Like, the old-fashioned kind that... Because I feel like, um... Voodoo is sort of where the idea of zombies came from in general. I feel like I used to know a little bit more about that. Oh my god, there are bullets everywhere. Guys, I'm collecting all of these bullets! What am I going to encounter in this game? Do you think it's going to be like, um... You know, honestly, with it being in Louisiana and... Oh god, that looks scary. I think that there's probably potential for some, some like, Lovecraftian stuff going on. I don't know that for sure. But it would make sense to me. Ooh. It would make sense to me to have some uh, Lovecraftian stuff going on here. Okay, okay. Delicious. Delicious hanging pigs. Rat poison. <gasps> Whoa, what? What was that? Jeez, she scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I can't even pronounce that. Lag magna paps are essential items. Carry over from game to game. Subsets can't even be completed without playing both. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I totally missed some of what that said. That's okay, though. Delicious. Delicious. I had some uh, braised pork shoulder this morning, and it was so good, so delicious. I'm such a carnivore. All right, let's go in this creepy hallway and get our. Uh... Can we stop closing doors? I'm not actually closing any doors, game. Oh my god, there are so many places to go and explore. There's another door. God damn. Okay, okay. Here we go. Do you think I should go and get my partner, or should I explore first? Please do not touch the boiler. It is working, after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up, and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Has caused a leak. Only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Okay. Okay. That's a clue of some sort. That doesn't look safe. Oh, you mean I shouldn't walk into the the really hot steam, the boiler steam? Can I try anyway? Mm. Oh, this looks like a slider puzzle. Okay, I can't tell. 
if I'm actually selecting anything. Hold on, let me get the mouse and see, uh... E. Let's see here. I'm playing with a controller, so we'll see if, uh, there's a difference here. I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. But dude, I love slider puzzles. I hope that there are slider puzzles in this game. Alright. So I guess I can't go over there ever until... Should I try? <laughs> Should I try to go over there? Should I try to walk through the hot steam? Oh, oh okay. I thought I was gonna get away with it too. I thought I was gonna get away with it. <laughs> We gotta test our boundaries. It's a new game, man. We gotta test our boundaries. Alright. Oh, I do already have a gun. Ooh, we're not gonna go upstairs. We're gonna let our partner in. Perhaps. If we can do that over here. Oh, God. Just kidding. I guess uh, we're not letting our partner in. Everything be open and closed in by itself. There's nothing in there. Just be opening things. Just meddling. Streetcar ticket. Okay. What is this? And also, what is this word? Does anyone know how to pronounce this word? What does this word mean? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Lagnaps. Crescent City. I like how I um. It said that there is like a collection that you have to to collect them all, and you can only collect them all by playing both characters. I need the key. I need a key. Oh my god, this is giving me Nancy Drew flashbacks. We might be playing some Nancy Drew on the channel soon, guys. I've been really in the mood for a little bit of mystery in. We're also going to play some fun stuff. Dragon's Dogma 2. Comes out tomorrow slash Friday. Definitely going to be playing that. It looks super cool. High fantasy RPG. Not turn-based. So I'm more likely to stick with it, maybe. <laughs> Although, for all of my um, all of my friends who watch me for Baldur's Gate, I'm gonna get back to Baldur's Gate. I promise. It's coming soon. It might be um, that we start trying to live stream a little bit of Baldur's Gate, so I can have some help with the turn-based because I'm sort of trash at the mechanic. You're excited for Dragon's Dogma 2? What's up, Giggle? Lanny app. How do you know that? Are you from Louisiana? I'm excited for Dragon's Dogma 2. It looks really good. All the trailers I've seen of it have been pretty solid. I think it'll be fun. So tomorrow I'll do a little bit of character creation and we'll uh, hop right into it. I googled it. Duh. Oh, okay. Sorry, Giggle. We're not all so smart like you. We're not all so smart. I could live in this house. Look how green it is. This is my kind of house. What is happening here? There's gonna be cults and... Ooh, is this a map? Can I have a map of the house? Yay, perfect, perfect. Great, oh, this is nice, this is nice. Okay, so Giggle, you, get, you, you Googled this. What does it mean? What does Laniap mean? Can you tell me? Is it French? I don't know. <laughs> me and my 200 IQ brain are here to help. Thank God, Giggle. Thank God. I'm going to need you because there's going to be mysteries and, you know, mayhem to solve in this game. And I need all the help that I can get because I got a little pea-sized brain. And it doesn't work very well recently. <laughs> it's very tired. Okay, so this is good. We have a map. It's going to tell me where there's a puzzle when I come across it. Which is very helpful. It tells me where this, uh... Okay, this is helpful. Explored, completed. We love that. We love that. So that's giving, like, Resident Evil 2 remake vibes. You like to see that. Completed. Perfect. 
Lock door and lock. Okay. Okay. I dig this. I dig this. This is really helpful. There we go. Okay. So we see puzzles, solvable puzzles, kitchen. Okay. Fantastic. Dude, mechanics on point. You've already got an A plus for me on this game. Already got an A plus for me on having the map that has objectives yet to be done. I love it. Piazza key. Ooh, what's this? It's a piazza key. <laughs> Just said. I don't think I can get in there with a piazza key, but yeah, thank you. I'll try to find something, a way to get in, though. Oh! Okay, guys, I really like the atmosphere of this game so far. I can tell I'm gonna be into it. Oh, it's like one of those old fashioned nurses' uniforms. Can I see my reflection? Sort of, kinda. Sunday, June 22nd. Uh huh. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around. Mm -hmm. So the box is just sitting there on my desk. Gotcha. Pain medication. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Okay. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Hmm. Okay, okay. So, someone sends pain medication to us, and we have keys for it, so... I forgot her name already. But the name I recognize, as I know, is the little girl in this game. And it said that she might be playing with it in the grand parlor. So we should probably go and look there. And hopefully we can get into this medicine box. Is what I'm thinking. There are some things that not even 200 IQ can help you. What? What you talking about, Giggle? You don't have any common sense? Is that what you're saying? We got the street smarts, you know? Hold whatever that is to open the map. I wonder what that is on... What is that in controller speak, do we think? There we go. Okay. Surprised by her own reckless decision, Emily found herself breaking into DeSetto. Oh, this is a narration she of my, over how to present my her ex. story in case she got caught, but couldn't think of anything that sounded convincing. She wasn't much of a fast talker. Mm -hmm. Best to find a way to open the front door and let Detective Khan be inside so he can handle the situation. Okay, so I, like, actually broke into this place, and I hopefully will not come across anyone uh, until, uh, until it's a thing. Okay, so hold on, hold on. If I want to let him in, what is the best place to do that? Grand parlor. I'm in the servant staircase. Am I in the servant staircase? Is that where I am? It says so. I did not I did I not just come out of like a bedroom? Okay, so I have a key to the piazza. We'll do that. Stair hall. Whoa. Okay, stair hall. Food and wine cellar. Where the hell's the door? Oh, right there. Piazza, stair hall, that way. Front door? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. <laughs> is this what a piazza is? I don't know what a piazza is for real. <laughs> Hold on. Let's look in here. Library. Can't get in there, I'm I sure. I need the key. I need the key. Oh my god. So many Nancy Drew flashbacks. So many Nancy Drew flashbacks. They know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Okay, definitely bored. Someone definitely fucking died here. Okay. Okay. We're not gonna let it be us. Let's continue. There are different smarts. Unfortunately, mine are how to be an elite asshole. Well, you are fantastic at it, so you know what? You're putting it to good oh. use. Oh, this is nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so I was in the servant's court. They gotta stop with this, like, closing, closing doors. 
on me. I did not close that damn door. Got some stuffed animals, a little crane here. A heron, I suppose. A bear. Alright, this is a this is the grand staircase. Oh, it's gonna force me to let in the wait, detective. Wait, don't <laughs> mm. Too late, sir. Sorry. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. Mm. McCarthy! Of course not. What are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. This is the kid. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. He's straight up lost. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? The oh, Fay Dodo? Yeah. I don't know what the hell the Fay Dodo is, darling. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. That's the police. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. The He's kid creeps me out a little bit. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Bruh, you cannot be so... Yeah, you can't be no. so nonchalant He's about that. House. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Yeah, it is. It is unacceptable. Bray, I want to speak with him immediately. It's like a mental institution. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. Are you kidding me? No, no. No, no, no. I think not. Bitch. Creepy housekeeper you see noted. Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. I don't like the kid. Follow me. That goddamn accent? No, I can't with this kid. This is a creepy ass kid. What the hell is this? That What is this? This art? And why is there a kid living in the mental institution? Does she live there or is she also a patient? Thank you. Oh, hi, Ice Goat and Cryptic Gamer. How's it going? Strange kid. Welcome mm. to the stream. We're Let's playing some around, alone in the dark. Okay. All right. All right. Why is there a creepy ass kid in just having full reign of the mental institution? Why is my uncle missing? And they're so nonchalant about it. Ooh, another slider. Okay. Dude. I can have to use my mouse. I keep using it and it doesn't actually move anything. Because y'all, once I figure out ha the controls for the these slider puzzles, we're going to kill it. I am kind of a fucking boss at slider puzzles. Just so y'all know. Just so y What the hell? What is this? I was like, what is this floating? Okay, that's... A little weird. That's a little weird. What kind of stuff are we? I don't know about that mechanic. <laughs> before. Letters, diaries, receipts, all sorts of notes. Okay, I know how to investigate. I am a detective girl. That's that's weird. It's weird to have the the voice bubble just hovering there in front of my face. But that's okay. That's okay. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder demonic time Demonic sultan? Would he have looked the same to This is going to get Lovecraftian. I'm telling y'all. it's the, This is going to be something. I'm here for it. I'm ready. Haunt my niece quite the same way. I haunt my so niece. That my That's the girl. In that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him. Moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Okay, I want to read that, but it said it was... Oh, that's good. But it said that it was 
five pages, and I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. But I am intrigued. I am intrigued. All girls can do, can outdo the FBI in an investigation. <laughs> you right, you right. <laughs> Doing good today. Just finished Resident Evil 4, 2005, one on stream. Yes! Did you love it? It's not the first time you've played it, right? I love Resident Evil 4. Original one, so good. So good. I love the remake, too. Somehow, um, I feel like they totally did Resident Evil 4 justice with the remake, and in a lot of ways, it also felt like a completely different game. But I love them both. I like the patterns on this. Okay, so I got that wooden tile. Did that wooden tile match this box? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I should probably... Oh, I thought this was a slider puzzle, but I just gotta pick stuff up. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Done. We're so smart. All these creepy, uh, Have you ever seen clay like statues, this? though. Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? <laughs> Look at this painting! <laughs> I wanna hang him in my house. I would hang that over my bed. <laughs> you find me a knife to cut the canvas. I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? S same. My kind of girl. Sure, I'll find one. My kind of girl. I like me some dark shit, guys. I was an art history minor. I like me some like Caravaggio, like the the Dutch masters. Anything dark and twisted is what I like. My mom hates it because she's all like, "I love impressionism." You know, the ones that like, look like little dots, and like Van Gogh and stuff. Okay, okay. Chillax, chillax. I found but I like the dark shit. As well, to keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Why am I like disassociating? Why is she disassociating? Emily? Yeah. I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. <laughs> Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. This is a weird place. That. This is an odd place. I'd have Come that on, painting hanging in front of my toilet. <laughs> yep, yep. Dude. I have, um, I collect prints, okay? Detective so. Carnby? Where did... Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. We okay? We good? Are you good, game? Don't, don't, don't freak out. Oh, Cryptic Gamer was your first time. You played Resident Evil 4 Remake, but that was your first time playing the original. How do you think that they, uh, how do you think that they stacked up? Let me know. Resident Evil 4 is one of my, the original one is one of my favorite games of all time. What is this one? Wait, what the hell? What happened? Yo. Yo, something big just happened. Was this? This is not where I was before. Did we just completely change locations? Did I just go through like a weird time warp? What happened? I lost my detective friend? Oh my god. I'm already confused. Look at this though. Hotel St. George. This is beautiful. Louisiana. 8 out of 10. Good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think of the remake? D which one did you like better? I want to know. Have you played the other Resident Evils? What was it going to say, Giggle, before I got totally discombobulated by this is um, if you're going to hang that above your toilet, I collect prints. Especially um, like Albrecht Durr prints. And he has a bunch of uh, witch stuff. And so I have his print, the like four maidens or the four witches in my bathroom. And I think it's funny because as with old art, all of them are just, you know, naked. <laughs> and I'm like, butts, I'll put it in my bathroom. They're kind of perfect. They're kind of perfect. And then there's like a devil in there and you know, it's pretty satanic. I love it so much. 
and that's uh, that's what I look like in my uh, in my bathroom. You're starting a collection of vinyls. Ooh, the remake, the remake one. That's fair. That's fair. There's probably just like a lot of nostalgia attached to that one. Ooh, hello, Jesus. Okay, okay. This is this not completely different from the house that I was just in? Am I going insane? I think I'm going insane. Amazing for Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's so good. It's so good. At the moment, my biggest collections are books. That's a good thing to collect, Giggle. Did you hear that? Did y'all hear that? That was a creepy ass noise. What is that? Do you hear that? I'm gonna need my gun! I'm gonna need my gun soon! <gasps> oh no, I'm fr Guys. Guys. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm scared. He's friendly. He sounds friendly, Giggle. Oh my god, can the can my little trigger at least tell me when I'm like on a body part? I'm afraid. Alright, alright. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. We're gonna shoot him and if he runs at me, I'm gonna <laughs> cry. <laughs> oh I'm not ready. Okay, 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 that did nothing. It might have wasted a bullet. Let's go investigate him first. I'll probably get a cutscene. <gasps> Am I standing on something? Did I just climb on this table? Yeah, <laughs> I just climbed on this table. I climbed on this table like I was trying to get away from a spider or something. Oh, there's another one somewhere. <laughs> I hope in the future they make Resident Evil 5. I think that's the next one on the docket. I think so. I think they're going to go in order. That one's like, um, depends on who you ask. I have a soft spot for Resident Evil 5 just because... I played it like couch co-op in college with like my friends and I miss having like a couch co-op option. There was another one in here. I, I'm gonna... Did I scare the other one or like where did it go? Where did it go? Um, so I hope that they remake Resident Evil 5 soon. They put out a poll um, a couple of months ago that asked them which one you would be most interested in. I feel like people really want like a Code Veronica, but I think they'll stick to the um, remaking five first. That's just my opinion though. Do you got a soft spot for it? <laughs> I do have a soft spot for Sheva. Yeah, I do. I do. Played it on this channel with Ray. It was a fun time. It was a fun time. We almost won. I mean, we did win. We beat the game. But we uh, almost won against the boys. But I think the game glitched on us. Guys, there was definitely another monster. Where did it go? And also, that took an insane amount of bullets. For a first go? That was so many bullets. Oh my god, guys. I'm scared. But who doesn't? I mean... You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Who doesn't have a soft spot for Sheva? Sheva! Come on! Hurry! It's my favorite thing ever. The fuck? Please be bullets. Okay, okay. I only get like two at a time. I need more than that game. I can't go that way. In the trash can or in the mail? In the trash can? No, I know you can't go that way, honey. Oh my god. This is some Silent Hill shit! What the fog? Oh, wait. I literally can't go this way. It literally will not let me... There's an invisible wall. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Can I go in here? No? Okay. Let's go this way. Away from the fog. Probably best. You're right, game. Let's this not go. Be. 
Items can be thrown to distract them. Oh! 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 Jesus! Okay, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> okay, we can throw things. I don't want to distract, I just want to shoot. I just want to run! Can't I hide? Yeah, game, I already figured out how to sprint. It's one of the first things that I learn in games. <laughs> oh no, this is the awful tutorial section where they tell you all the things that you need to do to be able to live because they're about to throw some bullshit at you. I'm here, I'm ready. I'm so ready. Health, yes, thank you. All my drinks are full. Where's my health? That's my health? I can only see it when I have my gun. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Johnny the Conqueror. Crystals. Fetishes. Plants. Recipes. Powders. Sigils. My kind of shop. I think we're gonna probably go in there. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, okay. Just take a look around here first. I can't go that way. Okay. I won't make you. I won't make you. I wouldn't want to go that way either. It looks pretty scary that way. Alright. Don't mind going there. So let's go. I can just ring the bell? Is this a distraction? Will that distract the zombies? Hello? Paying customer! I fucking love Jodie Comer, guys. I'm so excited that Jodie Comer is in here. What is that? Oh! Hi! Whoa! Whoa! Okay! That's a lot for- What are you doing? Is that you? Who are you, man? Batiste? How'd you get here? I was back at Dorsetto, looking for my Uncle Jerry. Why did you just try to strangle me and smash my head in? I didn't know. Why would you? Mm, look at this beautiful You're chocolate still man. At Hello, yeah, beautiful both chocolate me and man. Stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lottie, don't you? Uh, I've heard of her. I read her diary. What happened, Batiste? How are we here? Yeah. You know about the dark man haunting your uncle. Yeah, I read I'm about that too. With his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow, cause these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Hmm. You know how to get back to Dorsetto? Look at all those keys on I'm his belt. Here. Can True words take have them. yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. Hmm. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This I have a husband that I'm not no proud one. of. <laughs> there is evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? We are in like a weird alternate just universe. Like he says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. Can you come with me? You seem like you're handy to have around. Just threw me on the god. Yes, that's fine. I'm glad that I have keys. There are three keys. One that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter, then there are two belonging to Dorsetto, one of the clerk's office, and one of the library. Great! I really like him to come with me. He seems like he would be good to have for... Just a snake in a jar. Just a snake in a jar. You should be right at home, Giggle. How's Ouroboros, by the way? He's not eating himself, right? Gotta tell him to stop doing that. I really would like this guy to come with me because one, he's a beautiful chocolate man. He's very handsome. I'm into it. He's got a nice accent. And I don't think I should be wandering around by myself. 
I don't feel well equipped for that. What if you're a crazy person and the PI brought you here to get help and that's why everything doesn't look the same? I mean, <laughs> that could very well be it. It's that Leonardo DiCaprio movie in the psych ward. Oh, um, Shutter Island? Right? That's the one. Sorry, spoiler for anyone in Shutter Island. Isn't that the one where he's, like, trying to pretend he's, like, he thinks he's a detective, but really he's just an insane person? He's good. And no, he hasn't yet. Okay, good. <laughs> Poor Ouroboros. I mean, you called him that, so really he's got nothing, you know. It's part of, it's his name. He was never going to escape the fate of trying to eat himself. I don't, I don't, I don't care for these floating, these floating bubbles. You have to hit them like exactly here? to be able to talk. For a while, want to see if Jeremy shows up. Come with me, please. Please come with me. Please. No. Okay. God damn. Oh, I thought I could get in here. Okay. So I guess we're going to Miss Jackson's. The day he does will be the day our universe will end and be reborn anew. <laughs> that is indeed true. It's all on Ouroboros. Okay. Let's go and find Miss Jackson's, I guess, in the French Quarter. Hello? Hello? I can't believe he let me just out here. He knows that there's crazy shit. No. Ugh. What is that? What in the Lovecraftian horror shit is that? Look at its legs. It's got like literal chicken legs. Ew, that's gross. That's gross. Can I distract it with this bike bell? Come here! Oh, he went the opposite direction. Okay, weird. Weird, but fine. Oh, oh, nope. He's coming back. He's coming back. So do you have a place that you just... But, mm, mm. Sir, what are you doing? <laughs> what is you doing? I don't know. Is that Footloose is a horror movie? <laughs> Looks like they're getting ready for a dance battle. What is you talking about? Giggle, they're not getting ready for a dance battle. Look at them legs and those knobby knees. He looks like he needs knee pads to just to survive. All right, we're going to get murdered, but it's fine. What happens when you get murdered in this game? To quickly throw the item, hold RT to aim. Mm -hmm. Why are you giving me that? I don't see anything with me throwing this thing. Um, which way do I want to go, do we think? Should I throw it at him, or should I distract him? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, oh, we hit him. We hit him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, bro. Everything's fine, bro. Everything's fine. We're all good. We're all good. Oh, God, okay, okay. Let me in here. Do I have a key? Do I have a key? Let me in! Let me in! Hurry up! Hurry up! Shut the door, man! Is he coming? Is he coming? Is he coming? Ah! Oh, my God, he's right there! Okay! <laughs> Oh, there's more than one. There's more than one. Okay. Okay. They just keep following you. They don't give up. They don't stop. Look at this goddamn gate. This goddamn gate closed. Ooh, they're fight kind of fast. They're kind of fast. Okay. 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 All right. All right. Damn it. Bruh. Bruh. Stop. 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 Go away. What is being? Okay. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Hello? Gun! Aim! Oh, there are so many! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, 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 guys! Guys! 
guys, not good, not good. No bueno. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. <laughs> somebody save me, please. Please, somebody save me. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, there are so many things to grab, and yet I'm not going to try to grab any of them right now. I really just would like to... No! Fucking hell! No! 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 I need a dodge mechanic! Somebody! Oh! Oh! Okay, we need, like, a dodge mechanic, though. Because... You really just be getting gangbanged. I... I don't want to get gay banged. Okay, kill me so that I can figure out where I end up. Okay, cool. Most recent save. Jesus Christ. Damn, she's got a good arm. Fatality. Yeah, you know how I do. <laughs> okay, there, there are a lot of them. Not expected. I don't know about this, y'all. I ain't, I ain't got, I ain't got pistol ammo like that. Okay, so for one thing, we're gonna take them on one at a time, cause one seems like more than enough. Okay, so I should just die then, is what you're telling me. I should just die because it'll put me in a place where they're not trying to gangbang me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh hey AJ, how's it going? We just died. Hopefully we do not die again. Plus one. Really, game? Really? Plus one? Plus one pistol ammo? For all those motherfuckers up there? Look, he's already up there. Alright, someone definitely came running through there. I don't have to worry, I think, about that one that's out there. Somebody's in here doing uh, cult things. Ooh. What is this? Intestines and things? Are those frogs? Are they skulls? I can't quite tell. Mmm. Delicious. I don't know why I said delicious. That is not <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't. Let's be clear. I don't want to eat that. <laughs> I don't want to eat that. Well, it looks like, you know, delicious curry, some stew, some gut. Oh. Bruh. They're so fast, too. Bruh, you are so... How many got... Okay, okay. We could move a little bit faster. Okay. Jesus Christ. How many? Okay, so there is like a little dodge mechanic. I figured it out on accident, though. So how do I... Without shooting. Okay, good. I thought I was going to shoot in. They're pretty fast. And they take so many bullets. Is Kaylee a cannibal? You know, Giggle. Have you not been around for this conversation? We've had this conversation before on the channel. Do you want to make a bone broth? Delicious. We've had, I feel like I've had this conversation before on the channel. I, if push came to shove, I could totally be a cannibal. Totally. You know, like if there, you know, were an apocalypse or something. You know, I wouldn't just, you know, for shits and giggles. But, you know, if it came down to it, I could probably be a cannibal. Are you just gonna... Can I shoot you through the railing? This is not a great angle. Let's try, uh... I can also throw this at you, but I don't know if throwing hurts them, or... <sighs> it's kind of weird that your health is always in red. I think that's a little strange. I don't know if throwing anything actually hurts them, or if it's just meant to stall. <laughs> Yeah, come down here. Come and face me! Damn it! I'm ready. I know exactly where you're coming out, you little asshole. 
Okay, that was much faster than I thought, though. Go away! Go away! Hello! Hello, can we... Die, man! Die! How many goddamn... <laughs> How many bullets do you need? Jesus! There are so many bullets! They take so many bullets! And I only get, like, one or three at a time! Don't you eat from giggle shit and shits? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I meant. That's exactly what I meant to say. I'm just not witty like you. I didn't come up with it fast enough. I probably wasn't there. I don't think you were, Giggle, but yeah. Yeah, we're totally beat a cannibal. If it came down to it. I could do it. I'm a carnivore anyway. So, <laughs> what's the difference? What's the difference? Oh my god, I'm glad nobody watches my channel because they'd be like, what the fuck? This is like one of those things that'll come out one day. Kaylee and Chaos said that she is a cannibal. <laughs> like, yep. She did. A couple of times. There's proof. Proof is in the live streams. Noted. Mm -hmm. Keep it. Write it down for one day when you want to blackmail me. Bruh. Okay, that was a really, um... Wide. Oh, 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 sh shit. Okay. It was a really wide swing. They're so fast. It's like they're not there, and then immediately they're, like, right on your ass. Kaylee, this isn't Resident Evil. Apparently we don't have, like, a fast turn here. Ah, oh, shit. How about... The fuck did I just do? Where did I get fire? Hello. Do you care? Am I on fire? I don't know how I killed an enemy with fire. I don't know how that happened. I have no idea how that happened, but I'm not mad at it. Did anybody see how I killed an enemy with fire? I would like to be able to do it again at some point. Well, it's completely accidental. Completely. All right. <gasps> all right, all right. Dude, they're like, they have long range. They look like they should be able to touch you, and yes, they can, and goddamn, they are fast little fuckers. Juju. No? I don't actually know what Juju is. I know, like, bad Juju versus good Juju. Hopefully that's a good Juju. But I didn't know it was an actual thing. That Juju was an actual thing. <laughs> look at all of these, uh... Look at all these candles. I'm into it. I'm into it. God damn. I've never actually been to New Orleans, but you know, I would love to go. I think it would be so fun, and I would definitely go on like a voodoo, like vampire tour. That would be like my number one priority. Looks like it was thrown from somewhere else. I threw it, man. It gave me, it gave me credit. It told me that I got an achievement, so I, I was me, Giggle. I somehow procured fire and this threw it. This must be Miss Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. Ooh, yeah, this looks like she would know. It looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. Oh, good! <laughs> That's what we're here for! In between, there are doors. Find your own talisman. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. Polished black su sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Nifty. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. Okay, do you want to put it in there? I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Okay. Look for the number combination on the talisman in your inventory. Okay. Maybe here? No, I don't see numbers. Family Bible. Oh, here we go, here we go. Three, five, eight. Okay. <clears throat> Go 
Going in the wrong direction. That's alright. What's Ooh. that picture in the glass? Where is that? Alright, there's a couch, a leather couch with a blanket. I feel like that's in the, um... These goddamn doors. What is... What is so bright back there that looks like a portal to hell? Why is there... Why is that orange light coming from there? Oh, wait. It's this. Is this not what we just saw right here? This painting? Because I was about to say, I'm like, the wallpaper is to be of note, but it's literally, it's literally this. The, um, the couch? Okay. Yeah. But, but it's this room. Why is it this room? I was about to say, I thought that it was like the library. That doesn't even have a handle. Can't go there. Hmm. Alright, I guess we're going in the, the portal to hell. The portal to hell. I don't know why it showed me this very room, but... Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. The fuck? Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. This is not the same place. You don't remember me, This do is you, a completely different place. We met at your family's house in the Garden District, when your uncle was about Michael to be admitted Shannon? under my care. Doesn't sound like him, but it looks like him. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm... Not really feeling well. Oh, well, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. Mm. You are far too intelligent to think that. It feels like my theory is becoming more plausible. I think so, Giggle. We might be insane. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Delicious. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Ah. Uh. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? Creepy. And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seems certain that he was in danger here. We might be the If I find out you're treating skittle. him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? Who are you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Exposition dump. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. Is this not However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact... Yeah, I fucking know. He probably got eaten by those goddamn monsters that are everywhere. Gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. Mm. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. Listen to this music, What is your though? medical opinion of him? I dig the music. Well, let me think. He is an anxious man. Very depressed. Old, old, like mystery. Even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. Yeah, same. <laughs> he constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. Same! In the dark, man. Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the dark man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the dark man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Because we're all a little insane here. Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Don't be threatening me, you asshole! I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. I don't trust any of your asses. 
And who is the little girl? Please, someone tell me who the fuck is the little girl? Ooh, we're on chapter two now. The chapters do not have names, as far as I am aware. Detective Carnby! God, I'm I'm glad to see you. I was afraid What is going on? Me? <laughs> You're the one who just disappeared. Me? It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. That is the explanation? Okay. I just You're had to kill, upset. like, monster blobs. No, I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you. I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. So why do you I think, think... I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go? Tarawea. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. How? Why do you think that you blacked out if I'm you know that you have a talisman? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh no. Well, I'm glad that I'm back in here. Find the astronomical clock mentioned in the commonplace like book. Can open up doors the boiler the mentioned. Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world. Like Tarawea. The place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. No, oh, that's clear. That much is clear. This is the crazy doctor's office. No, okay. It's not. It's a scare case room. Okay. Dude, like, why does she think that she blacked out when she has a talisman now? Rubber stamp. Okay. Astronomical clock. The only astronomical clock I know... It's the one in Prague. But Batiste did give us his keys. So we can definitely get in the library. Did you see her hand go to touch that? Like, after she had already rung it? Hello? There were so many doors and rooms, and i they all look the same to me. He gave me a key to the library. So we definitely have that. We should probably go investigate there. Oh. Maybe I just have a key to everything. He is the orderly. There are so many things around. Oh, look at that Madonna painting. Very nice, very nice. What the hell? Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. Okay. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Okay. Remember that. Take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Mm -hmm. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, mm -hmm. is responsible mm -hmm. for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible Charlotte for keeping Tabois. the guest medical regiments in check. Okay. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener. Who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is for the most part busy outside. Oh, see, number seven, there Grace. That's the little girl. At DeSetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Hartwood, Elizabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course. So the kid Bogart is in the Asay Asylum. She is one of the patients. Okay, what the hell could a little kid be doing in a goddamn asylum? Oh shit. Oh, damn. Okay. Room key number six. Who's in number six? I literally just looked at it. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth Perosi. Elizabeth Perosi. Okay. 
Don't know who you are, but I'm going to break into your room. Hopefully you're not in there trying to take a nap. Looks sturdy. Doubt I'll be opening this. Alright, need some, uh... Looks sturdy. Doubt I'll be opening this. Yeah, I want to look at the patient record. Looks sturdy. Stop! Doubt I'll be opening this. I want to look at the patient record! Hey! There we go. Oh, this should be good. Cassandra Beauregard, 47. Room number 8. Uh-huh, literary agent. is her responsible party. That's weird. Suffers from writer's block? What? <laughs> Needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. It's just her heavy use of barbiturate. Bar barbiturates. I don't want to say barbiturates. That's not how you say that. Or spell that. I don't know. Holding her back and risk ruining her career. Suffers chronic back pain following her unalive attempt. Self-administers morphines to help keep herself ambulant. Jesus! Has become addicted. The desired effect is now lost. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's look at this kid. Eleven. Uh-huh. Mother insists on strict supervision of, by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. Oh no, is this this kind of game? Family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Her father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. Trouble dealing with her father's death. She's willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Needs nothing out of the ordinary. She just needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings towards her father. And she belongs in an insane asylum for this. Why? Malcolm. Simply saying he needs some damn rest. If only I could be admitted to an insane asylum for some damn rest. Used to work as a lawyer in Baton Rouge. Going to jail because of some of legal dispute. Anxious man and alcoholic, okay. Tells half-truths, so we should remember that when we're talking to him. Oh, he's the one that we, um... He's the one that we first ran into when we first got here, I suppose. Okay. Half-truths. Inability to trust other people. This is the one that we're trying to break into. Her room. At least we have a key. She broke into Dorsetta and was found wandering the grand parlor, confused and suffered partial amnesia. Insisted she belong here and offered to pay for her stay. Interesting. No longer claims to be the same person. Interesting. Hmm. It's all the patient files except for Jeremy. Oh, I forgot. I probably should have been looking for Jeremy's, but I was like, I don't know. Okay, thank you. Is this a door? No. What is this? Saw your notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Okay. Be careful. All right. All right. Valve. So I've got to get a valve and a plate. The plate is in the well. The valve. I need the key. I have Batista's keys. He can't get in here. Um, this is weird. It's like a two-way. Is this a window or a two-way? I didn't notice it being a... No, it's a window. Okay. I thought it was like a two-way mirror. I was like... That's weird. That's weird. Okay. Kitchen garden. So let's go this way. Try to take a look at the boiler and stuff. Trying to explain what happened without putting on a self-hugging jacket. <laughs> yep. Yup. Was that a bird? What the fuck was that? Did y'all hear that? Okay. Uh, fine. I'm gonna toss myself off of here in a second. Okay, this is the library. I should have a key to this, actually. Hmm, who are you? I like your green. You're going crazy, Kaylee. I know. I know I am. I know. Hi! Which one are you? Are you Elizabeth? 
Oh, we're just going to smoke and drink and do some womanly things here. What are we uh What are we playing at? Something about a library just makes you want to smoke. Good evening, Miss Hartwood. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. I would be terribly embarrassed. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. Oh. She's one of the... She's one of the people. Is she a patient? She's not a patient. Yes. Is that Perrick you're smoking? <laughs> How terribly quaint. Maybe so. But I like it. Mm. Would you care to share some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. I feel chemistry here. Do you want me to light you up? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is That's, it all that you hope for? What was that? I know. Enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. I like a femme fatale, I suppose. Too bad you're locked up in this place. Oh, she is a uh, patient. <laughs> Your insincerity is really refreshing. Is there a spark? I, I think so. I am. Then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. Mm. <laughs> oh, good. I'll be looking forward to it. I doubt that they let the patients have relationships like that. Look at her eyeing me! Oh my god! Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. Mm. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. Bon voyage. I literally came into the library, saw her out of the corner of my eye, and put on my, like, weird seduction cigarette smoking. What the actual fuck? <laughs> I like it, though. Okay, I see you. I see you, Miss Emily Hartwood and Ruth Tunnel. Maybe I'm just flirting with her to get information. Lost Plantations of Lost Plantations Louisiana. of Louisiana. Terry Bricklow, 1917. Uh -huh. Their settle was a small plantation on the eastern shore. Okay. I don't need all that. Give me a clue. Write it in my notebook, game. Got stuff. I got an uncle to find. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Can I have this? Please? No, I can only look at it. I can't have this. That's cool. That's cool. It's like Chekhov's gun right there. It's going to come in handy at some point. Hmm. Oh. God, this is like layers of freer. Oh my god. Chant. Are you in Batman's mansion? Is this how Batman's mansion is? Bruh, how do I get out? Oh my god. Uh oh, to go near the fire. Oh, a bolt cutter will probably be useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh... 
use this. What the hell am I standing in? Oh. That's not what I want to use. There we go. Everything's back to normal. Well, damn. And you think that that's just a totally normal thing to see, my girl? Come on. Well, he has bats under his house, so possibly. <laughs> that makes sense. Is that why he goes by Batman? Kaylee wouldn't know, honestly. Hey, this is like a fountain. I guess that's not the well. This Where is this well we speak of? Is this the kitchen garden? Or is this just a uh, conservatory? Not gonna lie, this game is giving me a little bit of motion sickness. So we'll see how much longer I can stand it. I might have to adjust the settings for uh, for next time. Take a little break. He was afraid of bats as a kid. When he got training, he turned his fear into a weapon. So now everyone fears bats. Oh, I had no idea that was the origin. What are you burying? What are you doing sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I did not sneak. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The Batman fears Ozzy Osbourne. Science? Everybody fears Ozzy I Osbourne, damn man. And also, welcome back. Nice to see you. You know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetta was cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. Hmm. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. Literally, no one knows where he I is, though. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Hartwood. I really mean that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gumbo. I don't think that's how you spell gumbo, in my experience. But also, gumbo is delicious. Do y'all like gumbo? I had a, an uncle that used to fix... He was from Louisiana. Uh, married in. And he used to fix alligator gumbo, and it's so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna ruin her witch... Mummified cat. That checks out. That checks out. Voodoo. I would use a mummified cat What's as well. What's that? Oh, this is the well. Okay. Garden hose. Hmm. How would one get to the plate inside the well? I would call Lassie, I think. I'm so confused. Did I come from there? Where did I come from? Hmm. Do I have bolt cutters now? Yeah, there we go. This will be nifty for the entirety of the rest of the game. Shrimp gumbo hits different. You right. It worked. Okay. Now what's this? Now it's what? It was a water hose. I picked it up. So I can go and screw that in and try to do something with it? Just make it longer? Try to fish something out? Or... It's another piece of broken plate. Okay. Can we turn on the water and raise the water so that I can get the bucket? Where's the knob?
There we go. I'm so smart, guys. We're so smart. I feel like I'm gonna puke, but there we're we so go. smart. I know. I'm so smart. Broken plate. Piece of large decorative plate. Has a dark and burnt quality. All right. Set the valve. Where did it say the valve was? Someone told me. The housekeeper buried something in the flower patch beneath one of Dr. Gray's windows. She was singing in hmm. some Creole language, performing a peculiar bourgeois voodoo ritual. Certainly not an unfamiliar sight in the French Quarter, but voodoo had never felt this bitter to Emily. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Guys, they told me where to find... Where's the... In the wine cellar. That's where it was. That's where it was. Okay. Let's go here. I had to look at the map for a second, and I was like, that's right. You told me there was a valve in the wine cellar, so hopefully... I feel like there's going to be monsters in here. It just seems like a scary place, to be honest. Wait, I don't have a key to this? I came from here earlier. Are you kidding? What? It's locked. No! I need to get in there. Or do I? Maybe I don't. Where am I going? Hmm. Piazza, stair hall, servant staircase. Oh. Alright, let's go back up through the library. There are creepy noises in this game. What years does this take place in? I think the 1920s of some sort, Scarecrow. This game reminds me of Dance Dance Revolution. What? Why? <laughs> what you talking about, homeboy? <laughs> Not that I ever played Dance Dance Revolution. Your girl has no rhythm whatsoever. None. Zero. If you can believe it. Which I bet you can. Alright, let's go see my girlfriend. This is like so Chekhov's gun. I cannot have this gun and yet it is standing like right there looking at me. I want it so badly. Oh, she's gone. What was she reading? A brightness from far. Hmm. Must just be a book. Thought she was going to be writing her deepest, darkest attraction to me. Okay, okay, here we go. So let's go down. Wait, hold on. Just kidding. I have a, I have it in my inventory. Something about getting in that medicine box. There was a key in the library, right? But I think that it said that the little girl had it. And I haven't seen her yet. For a while, so. Okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, that's a... Look at that face. Look at the lighting on that. Oh, you look like E.T., my girl. That is not a good look. Okay, here I am. And the servant... Okay, boiler room. Wine food cellar. So if I go down this hall, I should be able to get in. Right here. The fuck was that? Alright, alright, here we go. Do we have a valve somewhere? Like a mix of League and Legends and Nintendogs. What? That lady has thick South accent. Mm hmm Yeah, it's a Louisiana accent. I can't do it. I can't do it. That was pathetic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I tried. It's like a mix of Pac-Man and Call of Duty Cold War. <laughs> All of these things are true, damn man. Every single one. I need the key. Do I not have the key? I'm ready. 
God damn. I need to get in here. I need, I need to get in there. Can I just break down the gate? All right. Guess not. Let's go to the boiler. Which I think is around here. Somewhere. I think it's in this room. Because I think I have a plate now. What's that stain? Looks it's another one of those plates for the talisman. What's it's also broken and missing some pieces. What stain? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Pieces of you plate. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. Hmm. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. Hmm. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. What the hell? This kid. Okay, so we have one boilerplate. It sounds like there's one in Cassandra's room and also one in another room near the boiler room. So I wonder how many we'll have to find. Oh my god, my eye is twitching. Don't pay any attention, guys. I'm just having a stroke. It's okay. All is well. Yeah, I want to select it. Oh, it doesn't even look like that. Hmm. That's a different piece. Doesn't even look like it. Alright. Cassandra's room. And a tool room. But I also need the valve to turn that thing off, so I don't know. Where's Cassandra's room? Hmm, up there. Third floor? Alright, let's see. Oh! Hi, gamer dad! No, like, long time no see! How are you? I think this game is a prequel to Halo 4. You're probably right. Yeah, New Orleans accent. Mm-hmm, you right. How's it going, gamer dad? Good morning. Good morning in South Africa. Ooh! Sorry, guys, I'm moving slowly, but I'm trying not to puke on you. I don't want to puke on stream. It might happen, though. I might have to... Yeah, I might have to slow down for a second. It's giving me, like, motion sick. Actually, we might have to... Uh, we might have to... Hold on. One sec. Give me... Give me one sec.
Okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, I just had a minor crisis. Minor crisis. Uh, did she leave? Kate giggle. Yeah, I did. I did leave. I had to. Uh, I had to fucking run, and die. That was awesome. I. Uh, we're gonna call it quits right here for tonight. And next time I play this, I'm gonna take a Dramamine. Ala, Ala Resident Evil Village. And play with some settings ahead of time. Because, woo! That killed me. That killed me. And, uh, I wish I could stay. But your girl has got to go and, uh, clean. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I did not... I did not quite make it to where I needed to, to be to to die in the way that I just did. But this was fun. I s still love this game, and I'm having a blast with it. Hey, no worries. Oh, gosh. Feel better. Kaylee and Chaos? It w Dude. Gamer Dad, it is chaotic. I would turn on my camera, except I haven't really assessed what I look like, and uh, there very well could be grossness in, in my hair. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of chaos, guys. That was a lot. Oh my gosh. Unexpected. But yeah. So we are going to call it quits here for tonight, but we are going to finish this. I'm definitely going to be playing this game more. Probably tomorrow, I think. I might start a little bit early tomorrow, but we'll see. And we're going to be playing Dragon's Dogma, which is going to be super fun. Uh, but yeah, I have to go and, you know, magic erase my... <laughs> My bathroom wall now if y'all want to know <laughs> if y'all want to know might be too much information for you <laughs> but god damn that fucking hit me all right guys thank you for everyone that tuned in we will we will be back with this and i will take a dramamine so then we will be good i'm sure we all guessed yeah i'm just glad that it was not in the microphone i'm glad that you guys couldn't hear it i was far enough away later skater yeah 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 all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I will be back with it. We will continue. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. But we'll we'll be back. We'll be good. All right. Bye.